How you doing YouTube? Um, doing this video of a conspiracy theory of martial law questions. Right? I've seen a lot of uh, martial law conspiracy stuff, but no one's really answered the questions. Right? Now, here's my question for all the Army brats or all the Army people, Navy, Air Force, Marine folks, that if you're a son and daughter in one of these armed forces, are you seriously, seriously going to stick a gun or tell your mom, dad, brother, sister, any sibling that you have to come with them or you're going to stick a gun in their face to tell them to go to a concentration camp or a prison or something? I mean, are you seriously that brainwashed? Are you seriously going to do that to your own family member? I mean, any part of the armed forces. Are you seriously going to your neighbor or anybody? Are you really going to stick a gun in their face to tell them that they have to leave their property? They're going to have to do this, do that because the commander-in-chief tells you? I mean, aren't you a fucking human being? I mean, didn't you, weren't you born, I mean, weren't you a human before they somewhat brainwashed you to kill, right? And if you go by the brainwashing of the Army, or Navy, Air Force, Marine to kill, right, it doesn't say that you are supposed to battle your own citizens, it's only the people that are threatening you across seas. Right. So here's my question to all you folks again that you are going to stick a gun in your mama's face, your daddy's face and tell them to go somewhere because your commander in chief or somebody ordered you. Right. The only order that you really need to abide by because unless they're going to shoot you or stick you in a stockade or somewhere is your own law. Right. You are in control of your own self. Nobody controls you even if they're training you to kill. You control you. Unless they have a computer chip or some control stick up your ass, you control yourself. Right. The only reason why most people go into the military, or at least I would go into the military, is one, the big guns that you get to shoot. Uh, you get an adventure, you get to play with the nice toys, the pay is shitty, but still you get to go across seas, you go to all these other interesting places that you wouldn't be able to afford on a $8 an hour or minimum wage job, or in also the free college uh, benefits. So if you could please comment below and tell me why you would follow your commander in chief or anybody to kill your own neighbors, kill your own citizens of your own country, or I mean anything. Please leave a comment down below. Hopefully, I get several views. But my viewpoint is be a human being, quit thinking of material things, quit thinking other people control you because. The only person that created us gave us free will to do whatever we feel uh, feel like we should do. But the old saying is, uh, get rid of the weak, only the strong will survive. That is so fucking stupid of a saying. Because if the only Neanderthals that... Uh, can't have weapons or can't build weapons or don't know how to use gunpowder or anything and you kill all the smart people I'll call kill all the weak people that have invented all this stuff right that all the strong dumbass people in the world aren't going to be able to use anything except for sticks or stuff like rocks sticks or things like that okay so government if that's your plan for martial law, why? 
I mean, you're not going to brainwash anybody. It's stupid, right? If you really wanted to help people, government is learn to be a human being. You only have a title. It's an idea. Right? Ideas are what this country is following. That's why we have laws, is to follow them so we have some type of rules in the society. Right? There are plenty of people in the world that are murderers and don't believe in the law. Right? But the law is an idea. That's why we came to be a society. That's why we became the United States. That's why we are trying to be better than we are. But money and material shit is what uh, everybody keeps on brainwashing people to think. Oh, I need the new iPhone 7. I need this. I need that. I, I like it broadening my <clears throat> excuse me broadening my mind getting smarter right not having the newest shit money's nothing and as soon as that the human race and everybody realizes money is nothing gold wasn't worth shit back in the day diamonds weren't worth shit back in the day until somebody had the idea of making it worth it, selling somebody into buying a diamond, getting into gold. I mean, all it is material shit that doesn't mean anything, except for our ideas. Right? So, please comment below, hopefully you subscribe to my channel, but use common sense, be a human being, quit brainwashing yourself into having material shit, and two, if the government is that stupid to uh, declare martial law because you want to have new world order or some shit like that, it's not going to happen. Even if you take guns away or you imprison people, there's still going to be a revolution. Right? Just think of what happened in 1776 when we had the 13 colonies. The British came over to try to put us back into monarchy. It didn't happen. Right? So President Obama or whoever do you want to do the new world order, it's not going to happen, guys. Trust me. There's too many of the people that are uh, not materialistic, don't give a shit about money. They just have to pay their bills and stuff because that's the way the world that they live in. But still, even if you kill them, they still have the idealism to pass on that we will have some type of revolution just like the hunger games and all that shit so thanks for watching my uh, long video of conspiracy theories of martial law and uh, a couple other little things but have a great day please like or subscribe to this video thank you